Hello and welcome to the latest Sea of Thieves news. We've got a packed episode today, so let's get started. First up, Joan eats on holiday, so I'll be giving you all the latest news from the game. Aaron Nielsen gives us our first look at a new voyage for the Gold Hoarders. And Chris Davies spills the beans on mysterious notes. And without further ado, over to me. Thanks, John. So you may have already seen that last week at Gamescom on the IGN stream, we showed off some of the features coming to the next update. We showed off dogs and a new voyage for the Gold Hoarders. So I can announce today that the next update for Sea of Thieves is called Vaults of the Ancients, and it will be releasing on September 9th. So next up, I'm just going to take some time to go through some of the quality of life improvements that are coming alongside Vaults of the Ancients. First up is Slimline Island Reveal Banner. So this is a less intrusive design and it shows your ammo and your health at all times. And there's even the option for some people who don't like seeing these to disable them completely. Next up is some additions we've made to our accessibility options. Uh, we recently released a single stick mode, but we've made some changes to that to allow you to toggle between movement and camera on that single stick. So allowing some more freedom of movement there. A quick reminder that the Summer of Sea of Thieves event is running now until the end of September, so head on over to the Events Hub on seaofthieves.com for all the details there. And to celebrate the recent release of the new Battletoads game, we're giving away a free Fighting Frog ship livery within Sea of Thieves to anyone who completes Act 1 of Battletoads. And finally, the most important day in the pirate calendar is coming up on September 19th, Talk Like a Pirate Day, and we're doing a ton to celebrate, so please keep that booked out in your calendar. And that's it from me, so as Mr. Neat would say, I'll see you on the seas. G'day pirates, my name is Aaron and I'm one of the designers here at Sea of Thieves, and I'm excited to talk to you today about the next update coming to the game. So after all of the events of the Shores of Gold, the Gold Hoarders really needed a place to put all of their riches, so they decided to use the ancient vaults scattered across the Sea of Thieves. The company worries though that these vaults may be at risk, so they've requested that you, the player, go out and recover the keys to unlock these treasure vaults. Although the company has requested you return the key, you don't necessarily have to. You could go and use it yourself. Uh, we are pirates after all. And by doing so, you find yourself in a room full of riches. But there is one more treasure that the Gold Hoarders are keeping secret. And to uncover that treasure, you would need to find the medallions within the room under this time constraint. When you put these medallions into the puzzle table in the middle of the room, you can start to uncover the solution that then opens up a treasure door at the back, which contains the more valuable stuff that the Gold Hoarders don't want you to get a hold of. So hoping with everything combined in the room, we've created ourselves like a high intensity, in and out loot grab that our players or our crews are really going to enjoy. And we can't wait to see how much gold you can get for you and your crew. You can play these treasure vaults in the next Sea of Thieves update. Hi, I'm Chris Davies, Senior Designer at Rare, and I'm here to talk to you about Mysterious Notes. The world of Sea of Thieves has changed a lot over the past couple of years, and it can be hard to keep up with what's new. To help with this, as part of the latest update, we're introducing Mysterious Notes. Mysterious Notes are an immersive, in-world way for us to recommend new content and new experiences to pirates playing adventure. Whether we're bringing you a new world event, or some profitable voyage opportunities, a shift in world dynamics, or maybe a new arrival at the outpost, we'll be able to keep you up to date with all of these changes via personalised notes that you'll receive at the start of your session. To find any mysterious notes in your possession, just open up your quest radial and you'll see the option to browse and select any mysterious notes that you want to read. We hope you enjoy this little quality of life improvement that we're bringing in the next Sea of Thieves update. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news, then like, subscribe, and click that little ship's bell for all those notifications. Cheers.